Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. A swine in a salon, that's an odd choice of decor. Devil's thorn. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Amber crystals. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, this scene of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Wollner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later. Your minutes. See you later, my son.
Atreus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, the song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. A fragment of amber. Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Hmm. A painting with no name. was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa.
Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just, I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Since you insist, Duchess, gallantry obliges this. Ladies first. You just won't give in, will you? I'm sorry, madam. It isn't in my nature. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. A fragment of amber. Interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, 
But do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Pragmatic. Intelligent, sure of herself, only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes, it's perfectly clear. You're already working with someone. Ah, well spotted, Louis. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? 
Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone! They've come back! Good night, madam. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? The truth is, I really don't have the slightest idea. But... I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily? Have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead. Ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh. So that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borchert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Emily, you suddenly seem to be vic- interested in my private affairs. You aren't pumping me for information, are you? Not in the least, Louis. I'm deeply hurt that you'd even think such a thing of me. Look, I'm sorry. I, I just thought that... Well, you thought wrong. I was interested in you, that's all. But that seems to be beyond you. 
don't take it like that. My mother and I recovered an old occult book that Vaunt Burchard was planning to resell on the black market. There, now you know it all. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? My mother came here to find out who Von Burchard planned on selling the book to. And did she find out? I have no idea. But I think she thought it would be someone invited to Mortimer's next party. You mean, one of us here now? That's what I think. It wouldn't be you, by any chance. Unfortunately, no. I was planning to steal it myself. Thank you for all this information, Louis. Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. and ready. Sure thing.
Monsieur de Richet. At last we meet.